Right, morning all, it's 7.25 and it's Tuesday morning. Um, I don't normally give out the dates now, but usually the date is the day I upload the video. So if I'm out on a Wednesday, uh, and it was like that 5th of, you know, the month, then that is the day it will be. So, you know, like today, I'm not sure of the date today, but let's say it's Tuesday uh, 3rd then that's day it actually is uh, I don't do any videos um, and then like post them later I try to get the videos uploaded uh, the same day uh, if I do do videos and I can't get them uploaded on the same day and I do like a little uh, screenshot thumbnail thing at the beginning of the video saying the date the video was taken but normally it is uh, the date shown on the YouTube channel in whatever day, date, month it is so um, just to let you know about that I don't really want to give out dates uh, at the time because I, I might do a video and uh, say the day or the date or the month and it might not get uploaded for a few days or a week or a month or you know um, I would like to try to do some more videos and uh, upload them a bit later and I'll try to get a, a clump of videos uh, done and then post them as and when I want to upload them but for now they are continuing as they are so uh, every time I do a video I try to get uploaded the same day and like off to the camp today Let's try to get the camera on the head walking through the uh, public park of the woodland uh, I think that tree I saw a couple of weeks ago is just a pine tree um, it's not like well I think it's a fern tree actually, it's not like a pine where you've got the pine cones on and you get fat wood off it so uh, that's a bit of a bummer really I'd hate to come through at night time actually I still had that fear factor about you know, being on my own at night. You know, I've still not done the um, overnight camping here yet. But, you know, there will be a time. Uh, you know, it doesn't get dark till like half nine now. So, um, and it gets light at about 5.36. So hopefully, you know, by the end of this month, I probably might try and get to do a uh, overnight session you know, if anything does happen I'll just run down the fucking um, in towards the fields um, what was the easiest bit I think this might be I can't even remember um, didn't see much on the uh, wildlife cam last time I was down here, but I did set it up again, uh, and it's been up here for nearly a week I think now, so we just have to uh, see what happens on the next one, so I'll get the card out later, and before I leave, uh, I might even take the camera back home with me, I don't know yet. God, it's so overgrown here. Lots of uh, sting nettles. Still not tried sting nettle tea yet. I wouldn't mind trying, but a lot of the sting nettles looks like it's got bird crack on it now. So the camera 
if I'm right, should be over here somewhere. Yeah, there's the camera. Yeah, it's just set itself off. So it's just picked myself up on the camera. Right. So the first thing to do this morning is unlock the door. Move that out way. Now, before I open the door, the plan, hopefully for today, is to finish my packing that side of the wall over there. I may start on the back because uh, I might have to redo the back actually, but um, depends on how I feel. If it's too hot which is going to be a very hot day apparently today I might not bother doing it today I might do it next time but I'll see how it goes anyway let's see the mouse traps have been set off So off noise that one. And noise that one. So the mice have stopped coming through, which is a good plus for me I suppose. Maybe they got fight off when I first started putting them down. Right. So I'm gonna turn the camera off a little bit. And I'll get back to you when the fire's up and running. Alright, uh, so got the fire on, kettle on. I actually thought I lost this knife here, um, thought I left it up here, but I've just gone through my backpack and it was in my backpack. So lucky I don't have to buy another one. Because uh, I do need at least two knives up here. Uh, one for cutting up food, one for um, trimming wood. So, uh, yeah, luckily I found that. No dinner today. Um, I'm planning to get some dinner on the way home. So I need to get my uh, oyster card sorted out. Because uh, I think I've only got four pounds on there. So I need to get that sorted out today, my oyster card. Um, so I'll probably do the side wall today, get that over and done with. Mud pack that. And then, uh, depending on how I'm feeling, I might start on the back wall. But I don't know yet. Um, it could do with a, another, as you call it, a joist or beam. but. I don't know. They don't look too bad. There aren't too many gaps at the back. But I do need to do this one at the side here. So I'll probably do that as well today. One over here in the corner. So I'll, I'll probably do that and the rest of that wall definitely today. Um, water wise. I've got enough water for now, I think. I might have to go and get some later. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's the plan for the day. At least finish that wall off today. Mud pack it. I did bring some more ready mix um, cement up with me. Although I still got some from last time. But I brought about 5 kilo of uh, that with me today. Um, so all I'm planning to do now <coughs> is just to uh, have my coffee get the fire going for a little bit and uh, within the next hour 
start mixing up some mud and cement. And then get on with the wall. I've got plenty of mud here for that wall anyway, I think. I've got two buckets. I might have to go and get a third bucket, I don't know. Probably might have to actually. Uh, there's a few little gaps I need to fill up here on these walls as well, but I'm not too worried about that. At least it's giving them a little bit of air, extra air coming into it. Just try and keep the fire going a little bit. Because it's only a small fire that I use, you know, I could bring out the hole with the uh, the bricks to make it even more wider but I don't have enough of these I would need a couple more of these I think I might have another one out there I don't know I think I've got two of the U-shaped bend ones what I could use so I might extend that by a bit I don't know yet I think I'll bring it out a bit further you now you can see this getting a bit chocolate all up there a bit charcoal-y using some of the firewood I cut up last time get that just sort of that I think that's hot enough can't tell me yeah, that's, that's hot enough for me Definitely hot enough for me. The old birds croaking away. Sometimes I have that mixed feeling, you know, thinking why did I start this project in the first place? And then there's a, the other feeling, you know, because like, why did I start this? Because it's just too much work, you know, there's things going wrong with it. There's things I don't like about it and stuff like that. I wish the walls were more straighter, less gaps for me to fill in, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes I have my doubts wanting to come up here, but I'm sure I'm thinking, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to come. But the thing is, you know, it gets me out. So I'm doing indoors, sitting there watching TV or playing, you know, online gaming or something, right? I was going to come up Sunday, but I didn't feel too good. So then I was going to come up yesterday, but something told me to stay indoors, so I ordered a new mouse mat, a longer one. Uh, that actually did turn up yesterday so um, that was a kind of a, a plus plus I had a, um, a phone call an important phone call which I did not expect to have so you know they could have left a message but I was there to answer it anyway and then I started mucking around with the online game you know get, trying to get the server my daisy stand, well not daisy stand, only my daisy armor 2 server trying to get that to do different things but it wouldn't work screwed the server up a couple of times but managed to get it working again so mainly I just stayed at home you know and chilled out now, I'd like to have come up here yesterday but you know I'm not sleeping like that well swell Mind you, the last couple of nights weren't too bad, I suppose. You know, life in general can be a bit of a bummer, as you know. You just don't know what 
the next day can bring at this sadness, boredom, loneliness, tiredness. So I'm going to take my I just want the bloody jacket again. I need to sew this up sometime. This needs redoing. I was going to buy a new one as well actually. But I can't remember how much they cost. I just can't spend that too much money on stuff. I need to start saving now. I need to get a new washing machine, a new microwave, possibly a new cooker later. Well, my cooker's insured, so if it packs up, I can get it either fixed or replaced. You know, things are just going a bit weird and crazy and Pitchy turvy at the moment. Well, that goes for everyone, I suppose, you know, it happens to everyone. So, life is life. Now, at least we've got a bit more freedom there, and they're the um, COVID um, lockdown thing, these a bit more. At least we can get out and exercise and do more stuff without people, you know, moaning and groaning and bitching and saying, oh, he's out, you know. Not that I've had a complaint yet, but, you know, you can exercise as much as you like, and this to me is exercise. I'm putting my energy into building something, and you need. You know your energy as an exercise form to build something. As you all know, still not use much of this. Oh, that is a great fucking flow, anyway. Mr. Jumping. So wood wise I've got plenty of wood. Chopped up wood here. I don't really done more of that chopped up yet. It's falling down as it is. Um no, I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'll as I say, will do the rest of that wall. I'm not sure if I'm gonna start on that back wall today because it does need another beam. Well I, I don't know if it needs another beam or not actually. I think I'll leave the, as it is and just like check on it and see, you know, there is a bit of a gap at the back over there I can see. So that definitely needs another log or branch or something down there. Um, over here not too sure about how I'm going to do that bit. No, I could just leave the back wall as it is and not bother because it don't look too bad, but I don't really want to leave, you know, do three walls, mud pack it and not do the fourth wall. So I will probably end up doing the fourth wall. Right, well, I'll turn this off and I'll get back to you again a bit later on, guys. Once I start doing some work, so I'll catch you in a bit.
Well guys, I'll tell you one thing, just doing this mud is back aching, I tell you, really back aching. Right, so... I feel I have to go and get some more mud. Now. I need to cut these down as well later so I ain't going to do it today. I you know I should do them later. trying to get it with a bit of straw in it. It's muddy the right, but it's not getting much straw in it. I'm get this side done today. There's a big gap there I'm gonna have to somehow make sure I've got some hay there to fill in. Now some of them are only small gaps which aren't too bad but my gloves are kind of screwed up as well. Not let me grip the mud. I'm wasting mud on the ground. I won't bore you with it all anyway, I'll just kill it for five, ten minutes and then I'll turn the camera off. I'll show you an update on it later. See this is the bits I don't like. The bigger gaps. But they do get in My gloves ain't letting me grip it properly. Gaps. So it's got at least a bit of 
have a grip to it. You've got small bits like that which ain't too bad. All I've got to do is just like run a little bit of dirt down and that should cover it. But then it opens up to a bigger gap. This must still lumpy as well. So this is definitely going to take longer than expected. I'm going to have to do it small bits by bits. And when I get to the larger holes, it's not going to be as bad. So all I have to do is just. Back in and squeeze it in. Hopefully, it's staying. Well, I've got quite the gap all the way coming down. That's where it's going to take most of the mud. I need to find something. A stick maybe to poke in between it. More straighter stick, not a bent one. Maybe this one. More. I want me to uh, tighten. I just need it to fill some of the gap up. Hopefully, the mud when it dries off will keep in place. Hopefully why not? Not letting me get the mud in the holes properly.
so I do see some videos where people have been doing the same thing and they uh, go around and smooth it off later which I probably will do but I won't be for a while yet I mean you need to get this really dried off it feels crumbly as well Uh, it's wet, it's soft, but it feels crumbly. Right, I'll turn the camera off and I'll get back to you when I've nearly done this wall. I don't want to bore you too much. So there's quite a bit I need to do on it. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, well, it's going to be a short one today, guys, in this video. What about three quarters an hour? An hour? Well, I've done the outside, but as you can see, there are a few gaps there. I'll, um, not going to worry about that, I'll do that next time. Um, you know, there's even gaps down there still. <coughs> it's where the mud's dried out and you no know, shrunk, I suppose. But I will get around to do it, like, you know, it's, it has dried out quite a lot actually. Don't get it's got concrete in it as well. So, this is it at the moment. the pile the back I will do next time you know, I could do it today but it's just too hot again it really needs to be a bit cooler to be honest with you so I'm just going to leave that as it is for now um, leave the ladder there you've seen on top of there uh, that's what I've done today, there is a big gap down there that I need to fill in so that I'll do next time uh, and that's it I suppose for today get home, chill out for a few hours watch some TV, maybe a movie or two have a go on your old daisy I'm a two mod zombie apocalyptic apocalyptical I can't even say that apocalyptic uh, zombie game so right, guys I've uh, finished that wall there's a few caps down there which I've just got to finish off in a moment in a moment um, there's a big one down there as well which I need to sort out but I don't think I can see any kind of a see-through gap so that might be all right up here I've uh, mud packed at the top of this but I noticed that um, rain could still get in so I put some plastic sheeting on that should hold it for now I hope so I've done that um, just doing this little bit up here got to do this a little bit and then it should be 
finished with the dog. Um, mad packing anyway. <coughs> I'll go and make myself a cup of coffee in a minute. So, uh, yeah, I've used about two and a half, three buckets of uh, mud just on that wall. So I've got a couple more little bits to do, but that should be it then. So it's getting along, gradually. Uh, I'm not going to do this back wall today, I'll do that next time because it's just too much and I need to go and get some um, other wood from Tom's. Uh, I might go and get that today actually, the wood, get it ready. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there, eventually. So that's three walls practically, completely mud packed. I think I might have to do this bit of spoil. If I've got enough, I don't think I need to do that bit because I think I've already covered the holes and the gaps. You know, there's a few little gaps. I don't mind a few little gaps there because I, you know, helps with the uh, ventilation and the smoke getting out. Because you think about it, and I can try and put around here. <coughs> oh, what I've really got is the uh, two windows. That one there. And that one. Now, when I start doing this wall next time, you know, I've got a couple of little gaps there as well, which I won't even bother. And as I say, I want a couple of little gaps for air ventilation. Um, you know, it's too bad that I can always make some more mud up, I suppose, later. But uh, for now, I think it's going to be okay. Might have to go around and uh, put a few more gaps up. There's a couple of bits there and a little bit around this side. So I'm going to keep coming in and out to find out where it is. Um, I do have a, a big gap down there which I just noticed. So I do need to do that. But uh, I'm going to do that a bit later on. I'm going to have a cup of coffee now. So, uh, yep. Um, where was that gap anyway? I think it's around here somewhere. I think it's here. I think that's where it is. I can't tell though. I'm going to stick that stick through there. I'm going to stick a bit of plastic around there so the plastic's going through at least I know it's there let me just check oh crap so I can see the plastic which I can but what I'm going to do is move this um, I think I'll have to do that later to be honest with you after I've done that wall um, so I've got the hay there and I've got nothing to put the hay in and it's just flying all over the floor so I'm going to have to bring a load of bin, bin liners up next time so I can put that hay in there right so um, I'm going to put the kettle on bring the rest of the mud in here so it doesn't dry off quickly and then I can just go around and fill a few more little gaps in and then that'll be it i in the over times and get some more straight wood if I can and then have an early day probably leave a bit earlier today as well right, catch you in a bit right. can in fact it just went flat so I've had to change it over and get the memory card trying to find a bloody camera now. I know it's around it some, somewhere. The, um, 
Chalk camera. So we've done loop up here. I'm just going to take the uh, memory card out, put a new one in. Just hope I don't drop the damn thing. Should be okay. Not sure if it's working on that. Too flashy, so it's turned on. Leave the same batteries in for now. If it records, it records. If it don't, don't. So <coughs> check that out when I get home. I said the horses have been round. Um, actually, I might turn the camera around, uh, facing that way, because that's where the horses, well, ponies. I keep saying it's just, there's actually ponies. But, Nice that one here. Yeah. Got to make sure the lens is clear. Ouch. You know, might have had some activity from the horses going around the side there, don't I? We we'll do it this way around today. I'm going to record my ugly mug though for now. So next time I come round, I'm thinking it's going to be stolen, but it's not stolen, I've just turned it around. So, I've got to remember that. Alright, well I'm going to pack up guys, and head home early today. So it's too bloody hot again. And anyway, I've got a bit of a backache and a stomachache. I'm eating the wrong bloody food, wrong diet, so I can't afford half the stuff. Um, better put this out. Put some more water. I 
should be alright like that. Alright, stick this coat in there. Got my phone in that pocket. Oops. Let me keys. And it's polos. So as long as I get up and do something, you know, that's the main thing. I don't spend too long. Oops, I keep banging my camera. I don't want to keep spending too much time on doing bits and pieces. Should do, because then that way I can get it done a lot quicker. But you know, there's plenty of time to do it bit by bit. Could have had it all done by now, I suppose. All I've got to do is the back wall. I might do that next week. Or the weekend. Bloody backpacks screwing around. Right, so keys. At least the backpack's a bit more light in there because I did have five kilos of uh, ready mix cement in my bag earlier. And I'll try and remember I'm going to bring some bin liners up next week. Or next time I come up and sort that hay out. Alright. Still got two mouse traps set up, so I'll leave it as it is, and shut the door, keys, where's the key for it, okay. oh, I've got a bit of a stomach ache as well, so that's no reason I'm packing up today. So I've not been eating a proper diet, been eating too much junk food, crisp and cheese and biscuits and the only thing I did eat proper the other day was uh, some fried chicken and rice. Got some ham, not ham, uh, pork to cook tonight if I don't stop off and get some chicken chips on the way home and become lazy and not cook tonight Right, that's it. On my phone. We'll go through the uh, public woodlands. And have a little walk through there. Got this in my bag. Get a bottle of water out. <laughs> yeah, my bag's fucked. I can see the sit but um, I'm doing it at the bottom already. Let's go through this bit. Gotta be careful, there's a second bar of wire through 
through there. It's only about 12 o'clock I think 12.50 actually So I've been up here since 8 9, 10, 11, 12 Say 5 hours Took about 2 hours To do that side wall But now I keep mixing the shit up All that mud and other crap No, I don't think I'm going to get this bus and I ain't running for it I'll have to catch the next one which I think is about half past I think there's one at one o'clock and then another one at half past so if I miss this one I'll have to wait for the next one. I think it's about every 20, 25 minutes. Vermont uh, and Coxton. I'm not giving me the timetables. So I've got no idea what time the next bus is due. It says two minutes past and then 22, so it's about every 20 minutes or so. But I do need to get credit on my phone as well. I'm going to say, oh, just back and say, oh no, I've lost my phone. I've got in the bloody hand. Yeah, nine minutes, I ain't gonna get that. So I'm gonna miss that one, and I'm gonna have to wait 20 minutes. Well, 30 minutes now. So I'm gonna just walk slowly. Over quick. Walk through here. I'm sure that is a fern tree over there though. Need to get credit on my phone as well. You know, if I ran, I could easily get the bus, but I'm not going to run because it start my asthma off. And I don't have my inhaler, and I'll just be coughing and coughing and coughing. I see that shop does oyster card where I normally get some cans of drink. Um, let me just check this tree again. I'm sure it's um, not. Um, I don't think it's pine. See if it's pine and there are pine needles on. Talking about pine. I've got pine cones in my bloody bag which I've got to take out. You know, this is just fern tree. And make tea out of that as well. I was thinking about having coffee, er, uh, stinging little tea today, but I don't know. I'm a bit dubious. You know, you know, I've seen many people drinking it. I'm still dubious and making it myself. Right. right. Let's turn this phone onto power. Saving mode. Well, 29 minutes the next one. 
half hour. I just have a slow walk. A very slow walk. sister's birthday today hope she got a card Alright, happy birthday, and yes I did send the card, laugh at that. Yeah, next one's going to be about half past, I've got about half hour wait. Because I say, if I walk slowly, if I walk slowly, get to that shop I might pick up some more um, cones no I won't, don't need them still got some in the bag as I say but I'm going to turn this off and uh, that's it but cheers for watching uh, sorry it wasn't productive today I say it's just way too hot again uh, at least I've got to finish off that wall uh, next time back wall hopefully start doing some on that and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you don't subscribe, thumbs up or down, don't really matter to me. And I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>